All righty, folks, time to break down Tesla stock. We're going to go over the charts, kind of how it has been playing out over the past couple of days. It's been about a week or two since I've done a Tesla stock chart update. So let's just do it. Let's dive into it. If you guys find value, hit that like button. Of course, make sure to subscribe and you might as well get some free stocks for a moo moo up to 15 stocks each up to $2,000. Check out that link down below, guys. Don't worry. We'll talk more about that later. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right Right into the video. So Tesla today, which is Friday, the day that I'm filming this video, not too sure yet when you're watching it, but either way, you're watching it now, right? Uh, so Tesla today went up over 2%, $4 in the green, which mind you, it's been doing pretty well over the past couple of days, which we'll take a look at here in a second. And we went up over four, just over $4 per share on the day and the high of the day was right around 194 and yesterday we closed at 189 just under 190 so we were able to take out 190 and pretty much go all the way to the mid 190s today which is really good overall for the bulls and mind you look at this on the one day one minute chart in other words the intraday chart you guys can see we have an ascending triangle in the making pretty much that has uh you know it was formed throughout the day right you guys can see that right here we have clear higher lows being made boom right here at about uh the first one 189.50 190 95 roughly or 191 roughly right there you guys see another one right here into that resistance these higher lows are being made into the resistance of 194 um, so if we do see this play out if we do break above 195 at some point next week guys um, Tesla could be getting ready to go to the 200s again, which at this point, we're only about five, six, seven dollars away as of today's close, uh, you know, which we've made some, uh, you know, we've covered some ground over the past couple of days. Let me peel the layers back a little bit and show you guys what's been going on. So this entire week, pretty much. Uh, well, except for Monday, right? Yeah, Monday we saw a big dump, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've pretty much been recovering, digging ourselves out of that hole. In fact, we just hit a fresh high on this five-day, five-minute chart after hitting a low just on Monday. So we hit 175 Monday morning, which in hindsight, of course, with the benefit of hindsight, that ended up being a great dip by, you know, for the week. So we dumped very aggressively Monday morning, about 6%, 5%, 6%, geez, all the way down uh, to 175. And pretty much every day thereafter, we've made higher lows. Now, again, we're at 193 with potential now to move towards $200 per share. And look at this. We're approaching this resistance, which is huge, guys. Uh, this 195.6 ish level that was the high from it looks like the end of Jan uh, January, right? Yeah, the last day or the second to last day um, in January, we hit 196. Then we sold off to 175 on Monday, this past Monday. Now we have a golden cross on this 30 minute chart, and we're getting right, right, right under the highs from about 10 days ago. So if we're able to get out, if Tesla's able to get out of 190, let's just say 197, Mark is at or above 197. If we're able to break out of there, guys, we take that high out from the end of January, we could be pushing even more from there. You guys can see on the one hour chart where we could be going from there. Arguably 205, that's a big spot here on this 20 day chart. And mind you, we have a golden cross and we're above the moving averages on this 20 day chart, which is a great sign that bulls <clears throat> are slowly starting um, to gain uh, some momentum. Obviously, we're not fully breaking out yet by any stretch of the imagination, but if we do start taking 197 out, which is where my alert's at, we fill that gap to 205, 206, we break that, start going 210, yeah, we could start moving uh, from that point and legitimately seeing a breakout on this one-hour chart. And if I pull up this four-hour time frame, let me show you guys this. At this point, you all know we had earnings come, you know, come out a couple of weeks ago, or not even weeks at this point. It's only been like 10 days, right, or two weeks, whatever it's been. We had earnings come out, and the stock got hit. <coughs> hit excuse me. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. The stock got hit, there we go, pretty aggressively after earnings and leading into earnings for that matter. And if you look here, we have, if I draw this channel out, we're in still a downwards channel 
on this four hour chart, which now we're pretty much at the bottom of. So you could argue, you could argue, and Tesla's one of those stocks that could run very quickly. You could argue we're getting ready for a move um, back towards the top of this channel. Maybe not all the way to the mid 200s like that. I mean, that's pretty aggressive to think that it's going to do that. But now that we're slowly moving above the 50 SMA on the four hour chart, we're about to test 197, 200. If we break out of that, it's not too crazy to say uh, Tesla to 215, 220 in the short term. It, it's not. It really isn't. And that's kind of what I'm watching out for here as a trade. As again, it's pretty clear as day. Um, the downwards channel here, the fact that we're bouncing at the bottom. Now we're starting to gain momentum. Let's see if it continues, guys. That's kind of what I'm looking for here um, moving forward with this stock. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you own Tesla? Um, are you looking to trade this stock? Do you guys see what I'm seeing? And full disclosure, guys, I'm not in Tesla right now, but I'm eyeing it up. Again, like I've said throughout this entire video. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And let's break down some other names here very quickly kind of in the space, same space that Tesla's in, some Chinese uh, competitors, right? Some other players here. A lot of these EVs guys have been struggling. At least their stocks have been uh, some more than others. I mean, look, NEO is down big time on this four hour chart. Again, this, you know, some are worse than others. This is not nearly, or this is way worse than Tesla, right? Tesla's not nearly as down, uh, you know, down as much as NEO is, but NEO's down big time. Some other players in China, right? XPV, right? They're down big time. What the heck's BYD's ticker? I always forget uh, BYD's ticker, but um, let's see. What's their stock looking like? Jeez, I got to look this up. Or maybe I'll do another video on BYD. But either way, a lot of these names have been hit. Whereas the legacy automakers, funny enough, at least uh, Toyota, their stock is actually up big time. Uh, we just hit a fresh high on the four-hour chart here. Man, talk about that. Toyota is ripping, and uh, Tesla's down big time, uh, which is interesting, right? At least in the very short term. Obviously, if we look at their stock performance over the past five years, um, Tesla is whooping Toyota's you-know-what. But, yeah, it's interesting how Toyota, in the last couple of months, has done super well. Uh, we'll see if that continues. I don't know. What do you guys think? But yeah, some of the other players, pretty much all the other EV players are getting hit right now. And let me see, how did some of these other big tech names do to end off the week? So we had uh, Google actually break out. It looks like it went up around 2% on Friday, which I'm not really surprised, to be honest. Uh, looks like we did break above the 50, the 180 SMA. Well, we've been above the 180 SMA, but we did momentarily get under the 50 SMA. We consolidated a bit. Now we're breaking out again. So Alphabet looking pretty decent right here, guys. Big tech name. I own it. I actually bought more recently. Apple is looking pretty wonky, though, on the flip side. We are um, still technically, I guess you can say, in a downtrend here. You guys see uh, this channel that we're kind of in. You guys notice that. So let's see what direction we pick here on Apple. Microsoft is still looking very strong. In fact, it just hit an all-time high um, on Friday, which is unbelievable. So Microsoft keeps on trucking along. What else is new? And is Meta pulling back yet? No, it's not. It's not. It's still pretty much right where it was. Um, you know, at the peak post earnings, which is nuts, guys. We hit 485, almost 486. So what do you guys think? Do you own any of these stocks? Tesla, Meta, you know, any of these big tech names? I'm sure you own a bunch of them individually. Uh, or, or if you don't, you definitely own them in ETFs because, guys, newsflash, a lot of these, all of these pretty much make up, well, yeah, they make up a bunch of the indexes, right? They're massive weightings. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Do not forget to get your free stocks for Moomoo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least a hundred bucks using that link down below, you get five stocks and fund your account with at least a thousand dollars. You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks. And each of those could be valued up to $2,000 guys. So get on it. Use that Moomoo link down below. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you all in the next video.